We are Ghost Paranormal, a team of paranormal investigators from different walks of life. We have our own lives and our own families. We all have had our own personal experiences with the paranormal. We come together to find out what makes the doors open and close on our own. We come together to find out what makes the hair stand up in the back of your neck. We come together for one specific purpose, to hunt the unknown truth. Previously on Hunting the Unknown Truth, The Walking Horse Hotel. Right, right down the so, so is that, that where this place is not as active? active? Uh, well, In here. it forces them to kind of think. Yeah. Yeah. And now the hunt continues on Hunting the Unknown Truth, The Walking Horse Hotel, Part 2. All right, we're just going to leave in the first floor, um, Chase Music Lounge. I think we had a couple of EVPs there. I think I heard one for sure. It was a, a hey, a couple of people on the team heard it. We were sort of behind the camera. Um, you know, we had a couple of things happen in there, uh, some interaction with the, the pair quarters as well, and uh, not really a whole lot going on in the center room. Uh, we're in a staircase now. This is a three-floor hotel. Uh, we're in the staircase now, and we're going to head uh, actually to the top floor, the third floor. Again, as I said earlier in the show, understand that they have uh, Halloween stuff going on in here. The rooms are set up for a Halloween effect. You're going to see coffin. You're going to see gurneys. You're going to see weird stuff. Um, but that's all part of the effect for the Halloween, uh, the Halloween deal. So follow us on up to the third floor to begin with the rest of the team. K2. Well, you got it. I already tried it. It didn't work. So you like when you trace it? Even, even. Okay, so that's really odd because the last time it was in this room down here. Yeah. It wouldn't stop turning red. That who's whispering? See, it's, it's going once in a while. Just watch it. It was in that room down there. We thought it was in the TV at first. Right. But then as we moved it closer to one of those skulls, <laughs> it just lit up. Okay. Well, go and grab that one. Okay. Get in here and begin. That, uh, Probably the fake blood. Yeah, right. You will get that paracord pretty well, members. Yep. Did I just hear something say, help me? Did anybody else hear that? Okay, it might have just been Matrix saying it might have been somebody sliding a sleeve or something, but that sounded pretty much like help me.
What was that? Oh, I heard that. I heard that too. That was, that Sounds like a dog good. moaning or something. That was mm -hmm. moaning. Your KT's going on. What's going on? There is a dog outside. I heard it. Behind us here, I think. Well, the lights are going wow, off. There's wow. gas. Oh, Did you wow. get that? No. Oh, wow, that was bright. That was bright. Could you green. do that again, please? Even if it was an accident? It's the guy coming out. It's the guy. Would you care to light any three of these devices on the bed? They're not going to hurt you. We're not here to hurt you. We're not here to shove you away. You made it light up once and it didn't hurt you. Come back and light it up again so we can catch the camera. Yeah, he said, I mean, that's blood. Well, sorry for what happened to you. I don't know the story. Uh, you know, give us a chance to hear the story. What happened to you? Let's, let's have answers to the questions. What happened to you? <clears throat> Could you tell us your name? Sorry, stomach. Oh. Okay. Good. <laughs> I hear the name Gordon. Gordon. Gordon, if you're with us here, Mark says you're with us and you're hearing that name, if that's you. Could you light up one of those devices on the bed for me, please? Please. Street shuffling. Just wave your hand over the top of them. You don't actually have to touch it. You have contact. Is this Gordon? Can we light up once for yes and twice for no, please? Yes. Gordon, were you the one that interacted with the device in the bed? No. So that was somebody else? Yeah. Gordon, did someone hurt you? Yeah, he's clutching his side. Hmm. He's hurt his body inside his Did you hurt yourself? Yeah. Was it an accident? Changed these rooms logistically a ton since we were here last. Yeah, they set it up for the last time. Um, Halloween. What, what was that? that? Please tell me. My flashlight fell. <laughs> my flashlight. My flashlight. <coughs> flashlight. 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 I'm thinking something's whipping stuff. Yeah, my, my heart's working really well right about now. Um, <laughs> if that was a hard check, appreciate it. It's in good shape. Uh, so I make sure you're still living. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm living. But when I do go, I'm haunting you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it changed a lot of the rooms of logistics. It's hard for me to get myself acclimated again with the rooms because of the way they've been changed around. Do I just hear a male laugh? I hear something. I'm just not sure what it is. I thought it might have been a dog barking. Oh, uh, that could be too, because that dog does bark out there. Yeah, it's a dog barking. Yeah. I'm going to put it up here so maybe we can catch it better on camera. You did really good before with interacting with the equipment. You have contact. Oop, there you go. Did you light that up on the bed? Just a little bit. There it goes. K2's going off again. Can you continue to do that? 
If you have an audio, is the audio portion on that up? Billy? No. Okay. Do you not want to make it light up? That's it. What was that? Oh, what was that? Is that somebody's stomach? No. 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 That was a very loud moan. That was a loud moan. Yes. It kind of sounded like a It said yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a pretty loud moan. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it or not um, on the playback of this when you guys are watching it, but we just heard what I thought was a loud, almost everybody in here thought was a loud moan in the hallway. I don't know. It was creepy. Mm -hmm. Almost like it didn't have enough power to project it like what it probably wanted to say. Mark just said somebody just said in the hallway, follow the blood trail. Follow the blood trail? Follow the blood trail? That's what Mark just said. Oh, that's creepy. Anybody here training forensics? Uh, it's on the floor. <laughs> okay. Say what? I need the blood trail on the floor. That oh, that blood trail. Yes, and spray. And then, uh, Follow the blood trail. None of us have real time. I that route. Okay, well, let's follow the blood trail. That's weird. It's not often that I get asked to follow a blood trail, but we're going to follow it. Okay, the blood trail begins here. That one. And goes this way into this room. No, I think it's this one. That room? Well, Wasn't this room that we were in last time? Which room is it, Mark? That the blood trust us? They run. They go down here. There used to be another door. But they slipped up over the years, but they go in here. Oh. Okay. In here? You shot him in the face. How do you not mean that? <laughs> Slip on the trigger. No. You'd say, hey, take a look at my barrel, make sure it's clean, and pull the trigger. <laughs> right. Hey, Mark, why do I get it that it was a crime of passion? I was just feeling the same thing, Billy. Well, it could be. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it was, it's a several part murder, because, I mean, first, there's something to do with the gut. Oh, that's going off. And then it's something to do with the head damage and the blood. Right. It's going off again. It's going off again on green. And while they're doing oh, yay! The there we go, there, there we go. go. Look. It's all over the red. Thank you. Awesome, good job. Thank you very much. It's actually lighting up the one that they Yeah, I say, are you able to move to this one? The one next to it? Are you able to move to that? Wow, look at that. That's insane. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? He's like, yeah. We told you, it wouldn't hurt you. Just makes pretty colors. That is, oh my gosh. Awesome. That's the longest I've ever seen it doing. That's easy, it's nonstop. Keep going if There's you want to. Go ahead. It. There's no, you know, none of us. I got plenty of barriers if you wore them out, so go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not taking a of that. Look at it, it's just nonstop. You're enjoying that, huh? Are you catching that pretty well? I've got not shot off in total darkness. I'm catching all the colors. Nice. Did you say okay? I said yay. Oh. Well, He's, I mean, it's not a stop. It's on beet red. It's not cleaning fluid. Cleaning fluid? Wow, look at that. Like somebody trying to clean up the blood? Look. I don't know what, I don't know what kind That's of That's incredible. It smells. Good job. The next time you do it, can you do it to, to this one over here? I don't know what. No, it's not, it's not old. It's not like some kind of oil. Or wow. Some kind of stuff. Just came back. That's incredible. It's, it's over here on red, and these devices are, are crazy because they're essentially made just about the same way, but they do catch different sensitivities. Yes, they do. Is he done playing with it, maybe? Nothing on contact. That was incredible. That was a long, that was probably the longest periscope. Okay, okay. that's probably the longest periscope session. Is this the we've same had. person we were talking to earlier? Yeah, to be more specific. Is, Say, this, is this the victim or aggressor? Uh, is this the victim? Were you the one shot?
Yes. So you're the one running away bleeding. Somebody's putting over. Yes. Did you run away because you didn't want other people to see you suffer? He was trying to get away from. He was getting away from the person right. shooting him. And there's something yes. in the hallway right by you, Shalasa. Mm -hmm. Right at the doorway. What was that? Me breathing, probably. Okay, because you know what that sounded like? It sounded like a man yelling. Sorry. <laughs> it was. I had to, to double check that. Mark is the victim a female or a man? Male. Yeah. Male. They're both male. Yeah. When I get a chance to talk to the male, the victim, the guy that got shot, if you were the one that was manipulating the object on the desk, the device on the chair rather, could you let me know that? Can you say yes or yeah? Please. Was that you? No. That was right here. <laughs> that happened right here. Was me? Yeah, that happened right between you and I just now. So. Was that girl? It was kind of like a chirp or almost like type mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. Okay. Now I've heard. I'm gonna take a pit stop here for a minute. Thing sounds good. Heard. Lots of I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, yeah, not sure that's a good idea. But um, I've heard that there's uh, a lot of activity right here in the hallway. Mark has talked about uh, the victim. We think we're talking about the victim of the gunshot running down the hallway, right, Mark? Yeah. Well, you know. he was stabbed. He was cut. And then he was something. Then he was shot in the head, or done. He said no. It finished in the head. Oh, I got contact. Yeah, said no. Okay, are you are you the guy that are you the guy that shot the man? Yeah. I'm Rich Rillen with Ghost Paranormal. This is Shalissa. We want to introduce a new new piece of equipment to you right now. It's called the Ghost Meter Pro. So the piece of equipment we use religiously on the show as well as in every investigation that we do. The Ghost Meter Pro is different than a regular Ghost Meter. It has four different filter settings on this device that allow you to be able to do your investigations better with more clarity. Filter number one that you see lit up here, that is for recent passings because they operate on a different level of EMF. When you go to mode number two, by depressing the power button, turning it back on, pressing the button on the other side, you go to mode two. Mode two is for ancient passings. They operate with a different level of EMF once again. Now when you go to mode 3, mode 3 is regular EMF detection. Phones will set it off, microwaves will set it off, just like any other EMF detector whatsoever. Now when you go to mode 4, mode 4 is communication mode. Communication mode is the only mode we re really use on the show. This mode here actually allows you to be able to operate with the entities with a clear once for yes, twice for no. It's extremely accurate. It's been proven by our team to be accurate with EVPs to back it up. Now, this mode also has volume on it. Right now, that's the search pattern mode that you're hearing. That search pattern mode is actually looking for something to come and talk to it. When it engages an entity, this dome light will go solid, that sound will stop, and you're in communication with something. This device, everyone that's bought and sold, is sent out individually tested to a specific set of standards that we've designed. Ghost Meter Pro stands behind their product. Go with the Ghost Meter Pro. Did you intend to shoot him? He didn't stay long. No, he didn't. Does he feel bad for what he did? No. I doubt it, seeing you chased him. He finished it. It was a revenge thing. I think it was because he had a re he had a really good, he had a reason for killing. Well, he finished it. So he finished it. Um, he didn't stop your body. Right. No. The well, lights are going off. Oh, look! Look! Whoa! 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 Pretty. Well, it looks like it's purple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like it's purple. Mm -hmm. 
It's okay, you, you can go ahead and play with it some more. They're not really playing, they're just passing in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just How can you pass back, back to it? Let's put the second one down here too. Pass on through. What was that? That was breathing. Oh, I thought I heard a name. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's dark. Camera off. There we go. Yeah, wow. good job. Wow. Right. That's, good. That's, that's, that's outstanding. That's a lot of activity in the hallway, isn't there, Mark? Yeah. Are you stopping to talk to us for a moment? No. Well, you're, you're, you're forcing him to be here. So. Forcing him to be here. Do you want us to leave you alone? Oh, yeah. Man, I can't tell you the word I said it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell you what I just hurt. What letters to start with? F. Nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. agreeing with you. Well, can you send someone else to talk to us? Somebody that isn't so vulgar? Or do you like to be the one in charge? You can? All right, well, then send somebody else over. We're not trying to be, you know. The wrong people. I keep on feeling, hearing like I'm hearing footsteps coming from down there. So no. No? Well, if you want to say something, you can say it nice and loud. We should be able to hear it on the things that are on our arms. And you're close. He said stick it up your ass and you hear it a lot quicker. Nice. Wow. Okay. All right. Stick it up my ass and I'll hear it a lot quicker. Nice. That's Dude, that's rude. <laughs> Even coming from a spirit, that's rude. He doesn't like you. Most don't. Most don't. He's a person that doesn't somebody. So he doesn't care. Right. He what? He's a rough cob. He cut and killed someone, you know, so. Ah, oh, nice. Not, uh, He's not scared to tell you to stick it up your ass. No, you can but. stick it too, buddy. There are the ones here that want to talk to us. It doesn't have to be you. You said you'd send someone else, so are you going to yeah. send someone else? What'd she say? I just heard a male whisper. I couldn't make it out. It wouldn't be the first time I've been cussed out before yeah. by an entity. Well, the person, Definitely won't be the last. The person that is damaged. Damaged, okay. Let me tell them to remember that it is, it's been a long time. They don't, they're not really hurt anymore. So if he can stand here and understand that it's, it's a memory, then now when to not be in pain, he's not, there isn't real pain now. And when you can, Stand straight and try to communicate. Maybe he's drawing your energy. Contact. Yeah. Wow, on cue. How oh, nice. I see a V attached to his name. Vic or Victor? I got a Vic too. I got a Vic. I just see the V. Yes, so you got one of those four or Is five. it missing? I'm Rich Rillen with Ghost Paranormal, this is Shalissa. We want to introduce a new, new piece of equipment to you right now, it's called the Ghost Meter Pro. It's a piece of equipment we use religiously on the show as well as in every investigation that we do. The Ghost Meter Pro is different than a regular Ghost Meter. It has four different filter settings on this device that allow you to be able to do your investigations better with more clarity. Filter number one that you see lit up here, that is for recent passings because they operate on a different level of EMF. When you go to mode number two, by depressing the power button, Turning it back on, pressing the button on our side, you go to mode two. Mode two is for ancient passings. They operate with a different level of EMF once again. Now when you go to mode three, mode three is regular EMF detection. Phones will set it off, microwaves will set it off, just like any other EMF detector whatsoever. Now when you go to mode four, mode four is communication mode. Communication mode is the only mode we really use on the show. This mode here actually allows you to be able to operate with the entities
with a clear one for yes, twice for no. It's extremely accurate. It's been proven by our team to be accurate with EVPs to back it up. Now, this mode also has volume on it. Right now, that's the search pattern mode that you're hearing. That search pattern mode is actually looking for something to come and talk to it. When it engages an entity, this dome light will go solid, that sound will stop, and you're in communication with something. This device, everyone that's bought and sold, is sent out individually tested to a specific set of standards that we've designed. Ghost Meter Pro stands behind their product. Go with the Ghost Meter Pro. There we go, that is red. Thank you very much. Yeah, I heard someone say, even uh, people may not witness, but the walls remember. Huh. And now he's really working with it. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Wow. Just keep going. Good job. <coughs> Feels like it dropped about 10 degrees in here. Yeah. I'm freezing. Let's look at that. Look at that contact. Look at that. Takes a lot to manifest. Yeah. That's like all of it. Blue, lit up. green. It's all over. Red, it's completely purple. Lit. I mean, the red is a hot spot. The red is, the red is where they're closest to it. I, I must have dropped like 10 degrees right here. Yeah. It has dropped dramatically. Oh, there we go. Look. Mm -hmm. What was that? Me breathing out. You have contact. Because it's freezing right here. It definitely got colder. Are you over here by us and making it colder? Is that your presence Especially doing that? Towards my feet. He's right between us. Really? He has to pull thermal heat. Wow. Yeah, you are. Okay. So you're the reason why it's gotten colder in here? I mean, just, if you go by that guy, yes, he's standing like right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's standing right between Christy and I. I don't have no thermal heat to give you, so I might have to step closer to somebody. Wow, I've never seen that good that. Yeah, just awesome. staying on red. I mean, he's oh, got to be standing basically right on top of it to do that. Mm -hmm. He's building up a little strength so that he can now, kind this, of break free from the cycle. Is this the victim? Yes. So he can break free from the cycle of thinking he's still being murdered. That's right, you're not. So it's he's over. not being murdered. He needs to be free and needs to go on and do other things. But, of course, you know, he's in a dream state when he comes so through here, so he needs to get his strength up. That's to, incredible. So is he just like draining the battery? Then? This is the first okay. <coughs> first time. It's just he's getting thermal heat to be able to manifest. Get all the energy you need. Do. And for him not to be, uh, he needs. And once he understands, he's no longer under the aggressor's thumb. Mm -hmm. He can, uh, he can, if he comes back to do here or something like that, he can understand it as looking instead of going through it. My legs are so cold. It's freezing in here now. Well, it's as cold as it was in the Chase Music Lounge. Yeah. yeah. He's trying he's to get as cold. much thermal heat as he can. You're not over here. I mean, over here he's, he's the a, thing's going off like house music's playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? Like a disco lights or something. Can you move the K2 over like a little closer and see him? Yeah. Without well, scaring it down. That scared it off. It's, it's done now. Out. No, no, he's nope. not done. He's not <laughs> done. I'm going to move this over. This is what, when people start, when spirits cross over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, he's building up his energy enough to communicate, but to also cross over. So that he doesn't, he's not under the aggressor's thumb anymore. Okay. So, okay, he's still slippery. building. Grab all the energy you need. Well, don't say that. No, don't say from that. them. Yeah. You don't want to The K2's gone off. Because the aggressor already has, I mean, he comes back. He's functional. He knows where it comes from. Since the person died in trauma, they are still, when they come to consciousness around people, then they're still in that trauma state they were in when they were physical. I mean, it's hard to believe how cold it got in here in the last 20 minutes. 
I got so cold. Yeah. That's probably that will go. That's about over. Yeah, I mean, a poor, poor victim like that, he does, he needs a crossover. He needs to, at least it's if me he comes moving. back, then he can come back in the way of where he understands. He's not suffering. He's not suffering, because he's suffering when he's coming back. I gotta get up and move, because I'm, I'm totally freezing. It's not like a door is shivering. <laughs> yeah, you heard a squeaking sound? Yeah. Yeah. Here what? Back. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's back to being red again. And see, the room we died in, they've got a casket sign outside of it. So, I mean, there's a lot of, all this up here is symbols of death. So, it kind of reminds So, him. he's stuck. Because, you know, I mean, to him, it kind of reminds him of, you know, death. Yeah, I mean, contact. the casket may be for him. Right. And it's not for him, it's because they're drawn here because the, the trauma is here. Christy, do you want to go get that jacket? No, I'm good. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, you understand what Mark is saying to you? That you don't need to suffer anymore? Your suffering is over, do you understand that? You do? And I mean, he's dressed in like, you know, some kind of antique underwear. So, I mean, you know, it's cold. It's, you know, so he needs to be able to move on into a more pleasant state of mind. Okay. Wow. Okay. We barely even started covering this place. <laughs> um, well, this will be the most dramatic spot because the aggressor can't be made to tow or told to go anywhere. But this one, uh, this the victim, uh, with so many people here separating him from the aggressor and talking to him. That will give him an awareness to where he can okay. take control of his own energy. Yeah, a lot of the, the uh, a lot of the interaction we've had so far in a paracord, gosh, it's gotten cold in here. Yes, yes. The um, yes, the interaction we've had in a paracord so far tonight has been pretty outstanding. Um, and what's funny is the last investigation we did, I don't know if you remember, not in the differences of the two paracorders, but that paracorder is easier to was supposedly seemed easier to light up than that one now in this location that one's easier to light up than that one is and it kind of throws me a curveball a little bit and it lets me know the more equipment you have to spread out the better yeah and two that one is closer to y'all and that's where he's at absorbing and he's getting his heat, heat. So he oh he's getting his heat all right yeah so he can do his so, you know, I mean, he can function a little bit. It gives him a little extra energy to function. Shall we move on to another room? Uh, might as well. Uh, might as well go to the second floor, because I think up here it's pretty mined. What do you think about that? I'm fine with me. Second floor? Oh, so. Okay. Okay. When the guy was in here, there was twin beds. Or two beds. Yes. Two singles. Two beds. This is the room, isn't it? Yeah, this is the one where the guy went. No, the one that, the one I'm talking about, the one is the only number. No, that's no. the one over there. It's a room across the way. No, it was on the right side. No, it's yeah, on the right side when you walk in. So what oh, was this oh, oh, oh. way? Somebody yeah. hearing that? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody could say it. Whistling or singing, yes. yes. So the Come like on, go. The paracord's gone off. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Whistling. Oh, yeah. Paracord's gone off. This one, oh, yeah. this one over here. By the, by the window. Oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes again. Mm -hmm. He's like, can I get him those? Can you tell to close this door? She wants to get on the bed. She wants her door closed. Oh. I think I just heard a female just say you can't do that. Okay, you have hmm? contact. So I heard a female say.
got the heat on, so it should be too long. Then we should be able to. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Can we kill it light, please? Hey, oh! Do you see that? Hello. Okay, so are you the one playing with that device? Can we talk to you for a moment? No? <laughs> Call him the racer. The racer? The racer. The racer. Is that your name? Is that what they call you? That's what they call themselves. Like a car racer? I think running racer. Oh, okay. Track. My right side is freezing. Is that a door screeching? Oh, that pen. Um, take it to the chair. That way it's easier. We've been here before, do you remember us? Back to hearing a dog again. Yeah. Now I'm anybody hearing men talking. Me? I'm hearing people talking. Or is that the dog? Are we, close, dog? Or is there, are we closer to where those boys were sitting in the parking lot? No, we're on the other side. Of, on they're, the other on, side they're on that side over there. Okay. So that's not what we're here for. Right. We want a chance to talk with you. We want to get a chance to, to let you be able to say your side of the story. Now is that time. What's going on? Walk over there to one of those machines and light it up. It won't hurt you. We're not in here to hurt you. Well, it's green. There you go. It's green going. again. There you go. Good job. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. Told you it wouldn't hurt you. They're liking the new one now compared to the old ones. It's tremendously different. Oh wow, wow, this is a little look at that. Thank you. Look at that contact tab. It's pretty colors, you can keep doing it if you want. Can you walk by the other one over there and make it light up as well? Is that someone's stomach? I'm not sure. I heard that, but I wasn't sure what it was. It sounded like it was coming from our right hand side. The heat doesn't even feel like it's working yet. It's going to take a while to bring the temperature up. Oh, there it was, red. Can you see that? Okay, these devices on the bed here, they're designed to, to work with you. To, you there go, we go. As I go to move closer, it goes home. That's just the K2 meter into the bathroom right there. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I haven't seen any interactions with that yet, mm -hmm. either, I don't think. I'm still hearing what sounds like a TV where people are talking. I'm hearing a dog. I hear a dog talk. really bad, but I don't hear the people talking. I hear the people talking. Oh, there it goes. There now it's go. red, full red. Jeez. 
Just wait just, just when Bruce gets a chance to get the light turned back <laughs> on again, he's got to turn it back off. There you go. Are you getting it that way? Yeah. Look at that. I mean, just look at that. It's just, it is just wow, awesome. running like crazy with a device. All right, go ahead. You make it turn into red. Red is yeah. the, the most intensity you can put in that device is red. Thank you for doing this for us. It's like solid green, mm -hmm. Wow. Now, do you know if it's a male or a female in here, Mark? Do you male. Know? Male. And it's the racer? Yeah, I'm hearing. And they call it the racer. Is this the racer we're talking to? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's a black racer. It just, it just keeps on going off. Were you the one in here last time we were here that scared my wife? In the bathroom? Did you hear that? That was a yes, wasn't it? That was a yes. Did she scare you because she was blocking? Did, did she scare you or frighten you because she was blocking the doorway to the bathroom? So you didn't mean any harm to her? Oh, I just heard it. Somebody hear that? There's somebody whisper. I just heard a male voice. Okay, so you're the guy that scared my wife last time we were here. I know you remember us. You had to. Yeah? Was it unintentional? I'm assuming so. I'm assuming so. She was walking into yeah, that doorway right there behind you. I think it's unintentional. Well, you know, at the end of the day, we kind of thought so too, but it was just the way it happened. The way it went down was kind of insane. My only thing then, then why did it feel like it did? Why did it feel like it was intentional? No, like it, like it felt. I don't know. Why it felt? I explained it to you that day. Well, I, I know, I know what you explained. It's just trying to put something like that into words is an odd experience. It's really hard. It might have been a psychic imprint, but you were feeling what he experienced. Maybe. He was looking behind you, and then when you stopped, he went through you. Mm -hmm. So. But it went through me mm -hmm. first time in the door. Yeah. Maybe. I just know it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and that's putting it mild. Well, all the points of the, all the points of the of the situation kind of bowed to the fact that you pinned it. You know what I mean? Because it was like you were blocking the doorway with the K two meter, and I don't know if it was just trying to get through you, around you, or whatever. But I don't know. It was a decisively dramatic experience. Is it me, or does it seem like the activity has really waned down from the last time we were here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cold. They don't like That's cold. what it is. It's cold, isn't it? Well, I, thought, cold. I thought maybe him turning on the heat would help a little bit. <coughs> yeah. Well, it's not warmed up It'll in the afternoon. No, it hasn't. <laughs> My body's even telling me that. Yeah. And this bed's soft. There are a lot of situations, there are a lot of things that. I think, you know, teams that do investigations need to understand, and we've learned a lot from Mark and his experience. And the one thing we've learned time and time again that seems to be raining true is that when it's super cold in the situation you're in or the investigation you're in, the activities are probably weighing a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, I want to kind of move to another couple of rooms if you want to, guys. Mm -hmm. You want to do that? Well, let's go ahead and move on to another room and see what we can see. Oh, sure, 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 sure. 
Sure, now it goes off like a maniac. For real. <laughs> Can you see that? Like you I know we've had that on camera a lot, but man, that's that's incredible. All right. Well, I hate to take your toy away, but it's time. It even kind of feels different in here. So does. Yeah. Or is it me? Yeah. Get out of the bathroom. Yeah, come on. Watch this. No, she, she... Come on. What's the matter? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got the light right in my face. Oh, sorry. What's the matter? But it was playing back something. Let me cough it. Thing. Yeah. I'm sure we all know who it is. Um, have we ever been in this room? Uh, in the room to what? That was right where you're at. Right where you're sitting. Right where I'm sitting. Yep, right where you are. Alrighty then. That's See if it has any interaction right where I'm sitting. Who's whispering? Um, Slide over here a little bit. No, I'm freezing. Oh! I expected it to be a warm building, so I didn't be a cover there. I smell that one. My mom's like sure under it. I had my. Is there somebody in the room with us now? Could you possibly work with one of these two to? That was you. That's, yeah, that's good. <laughs> too close. That's a K2's going off. K2's going off, though. Hey, I'm all over here now. It's going to that one. Do anything. Is there anybody in here with us? There's three different items on the bed. Something to interact with here. Anything you want to interact with here. I found the heat. You found the heat? Uh, it's coming out of that vent right there. Maybe, uh, you know, Mark was probably right. Maybe it's so cold that it kind of backed away. Yeah, because all the activity went down a lot. Oh, it's going down dramatically. where she got the picture of the red orb on the bed. Yeah. yeah. See, the, the room next door to this one is the one where you guys got the right songs. Here. Yeah, good. What? The what? Oh, that's turned into an icicle. The what room? It's a little cold. Come right now, so we're supposed to the left. Oh. Let's get down right at it. You got oh, contact, man. Man, that's what it is. You got contact. 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 Okay. Right so, am I talking to somebody that uh, we've talked to before? Whoa, the K2 meter is going Hello. on. Are you catching a K2? Yes, I am. And wow, yes, yeah, it's going all the way to red. That's interesting. I didn't know Mark was sitting there. It scared me. Okay. And I'm cold. Well, yeah, it's going to be cold, period. It's hard to tell which is what. Is somebody whispering still? Me, yeah, sorry. Yes, they're over talking. Kate, wow. uh, go to the paracord. Well, the room that went from quiet to uh, active. Right. There it goes again. K2 is going look crazy again. Yeah, That's incredible. Are you playing with that device on the bed? 
Are you the one playing with that? Yeah? Can you do it again real quick for me? Just to show it to me and prove it to me? Can you do that? Can you just manipulate the device? Okay, on command. <laughs> on command. Alright, stop. Can you back away from it? Stop for a moment? Holy crap. Oh, Can you do it one more time for me again? Can you interact with it again, please? Can you make it light up one more time, please? Go ahead and make it light up one more time, please. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Yes. I stand corrected. I think it actually touched my arm because um, when that went off, I jumped because something scratched where this recorder is. It like literally bleeped out. Are you enjoying working with that device in the bed? Do you like making the colors light up? Okay. So what about these other two devices over here? Can you work with those? Can you can you catch those over there? Can you touch those? Make those light up? It should be just as easy as that to light up as those are. It should be just as easy. I think you like to miss them. Okay, I think it kind of, I think it bailed out on us. That was really awesome though. Yeah, that was. That was great. That was the K2, really that's a little rare. Yeah. Yeah, the K2 normally isn't, um, usually isn't our, our mode of choice. No. And usually no. isn't theirs either. When you offer up two pair of quarters and a Ghost Meter Pro. And it doesn't it, usually pick the K2. It must be. Yeah, usually, usually it's not the K2. What's funny is, is the last yeah, investigation contact. we were on, now I got contact. The last investigation we went on was playing with the older paracorder and it goes to me and pro. This time it's a new paracorder and the K2 meter. Go figure out. The reason why you should have so a lot of a pretty decent amount of generalized equipment. Did you touch my arm when you lit it up? Yeah. And it is Rance. Yeah. <laughs> that was creepy. Thanks. But isn't it odd that you notice that? As they're working with the older pair of quarter, or the newer pair of quarter, and the, the K2. And last time in the other place, it was the older pair of quarter and the Ghost Minute Pro. Yeah, it is odd. That's just strange. I mean, they're sitting side by side. It's not as if they can't, yeah, thank you. It's not as if they can't manipulate both of them. Did you do that to freak me out? Yeah, I was going to say, probably did just to get warmth from you. Because it's cold. cold. Yeah, it, got, it got dropped cold again in here. <laughs> yeah, it did. It got cold in here again. Yeah. Is somebody whispering again? She said, yeah. She didn't really whisper it, but I, I tried. It kind of came out a little over the network, too. But again, the activity level isn't the same. No. I mean, you got contact. <laughs> it, even said, it even said, no, it's not. I heard a You can light up one of these that are up here, unless you're working with the K2 meter. The activity level is just so low comparatively. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we, we could review this later and find that we've caught a, a, a milliard of EVPs and I don't know, sometimes the interaction is, is to a point of uh, boisterous and disembodied and it you know, kind of keeps your, your interest peaked and then you know you go back and review it other investigations and you're just sitting there going, wow, I miss that completely. How did I miss that? We've had that experience a lot on this team with a couple of investigations that blow your mind with how much audio evidence you've missed. Audio tag and that's Mark with some other people out in the hallway. Thank you.
Living sort of your sniffling. Living rooms? I guess so. They just kind of. in here anymore, is there? No, they just kind of died out. I don't know. Yeah, that's me touching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's move to another room. Arugula. Arugula. Oh my goodness, I'm so cold. Okay, so Ooh. we're moving to another room, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Holy cow, hold up. Right, right in, right to your left a little bit. But right, right in there is where you was catching it. Mm -hmm. it's gone yeah, it's done left. But it's weird because like every single time this goes. That off, thing went all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. It went all. It went solid red. All so of like them. Every single time this goes off, it like taps on my arm. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. You missed it. Yeah. 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 Hey, Rich. So he's walking out of that room. Uh, Shalissa got the uh, K2 it peaked went all out. The way to red. And you could, like, every single time it touches this, it'll go like pss, pss, to the recorder. Recorder. Like it's touching it. Like it's trying to tap my arm. Like, like hey. Okay. That's pretty crazy. Done. Um, yeah. Okay. So, we're in watch yourself because there's a. A blanket on the floor. There's a blanket Did you say right a body here. on the floor? Say what? Or a blanket on blanket. the floor. Blanket. Yeah, a blanket on the floor. And then we have uh, one of those there. Right <laughs> there, this here. Burr. Come on, Christy. I could not sleep on this bed. Whoa, so Rich. I couldn't sleep on it. Hey, the Oh. Paracord was going off like okay. crazy. I'm messing my jam up here. Hold on a minute. Let me get out of the way. Um, when do you turn that clock around backwards? It's kind of shining through. There we go. Whoa. That's probably just me moving. Probably, because that's a pretty sensitive device. Which makes it even better that the other one was lighting up. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. I wonder if every time that I heard this go bleep or whatever, if it was actually touching the last. I don't know. Because it's been doing that a lot. What's sad is we've actually covered a large part of this place for Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It's really cold. It's so cold. Like I was saying, though, yeah, there's it's really not amazing. any activity, you know, like they're. Where are you? They don't like the cold. Who? I'm sitting in the chair. I'm going to put the camera on me though because I'm all covered in pillows and <laughs> everything else. Well, let me tell you, uh, folks, in case, uh, you know, we're, we're going to wrap it up just in case. Um, you know, we, we've had uh, some pretty interesting experiences personally in here tonight, and we've had some. You know, some really good opportunities for some audio and some really good opportunities for some uh, evidence capturing on the devices. Um, you know, I, the Walking Horse Hotel, it, it, it has never failed. We've been here twice and it's never failed us any time. It's been a, a staple of many of the groups in the area. Uh, get a hold of Joe Peters if you can, uh, the Walking Horse Hotel. Uh, book a night to investigate the place. I'm telling you now, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, just in case we, we're signing off tonight, just in case, uh, just want to thank you for your time. And the group thanks you for your time. And we want to thank Joe Peters for hosting us here at the Walking Horse Hotel, the wonderful Walking Horse Hotel. Get a chance to give Joe a call. Get a hold of him up booking his place for an investigation. And he has some really great live events here as well. So, again, another opportunity to be here, another reason to be here. So, again, uh, we, we want to thank you for your time.